Good evening, everyone. Welcome. We're just waiting on a few more participants and then we'll start shortly. So we'll just give it until about three or four minutes past six, and then we'll start. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Okay, we're just going to give it a couple more minutes before we start. Okay. 
Uh, hello, and maybe we're getting a message that persons are having difficulty getting in. Okay, I'm going to post the link in the chat.
Okay, I think we can start now. Good evening to everyone logging on and to our panel. Welcome to Ace to be Caribbean Doing Business in Barbuda webinar. I am Nadine McDavid Street, Marketing Officer and Public Relations, and I will be your moderator for this evening. This evening, we have on our panel Ms. Anika Henry, Digital Banking, Mrs. Andrea Dickinson, Retail Banking Supervisor, Mr. Narcisse Muiz, Chief Credit and Sales Officer, and the head of our small business unit. At the end of our presentations, we will have a QA segment. However, you can post your questions in the QA sec section during the presentations. We will try to answer all of your questions this evening. So, to kick off this evening's webinar, we're going to start with a poll. So, we'll put up a poll and we'll give you about a minute or two to answer these questions. Thank you. Okay, so there are three questions in the poll, so you just need to scroll down and you'll see the third one. I think we can close the poll now, Sidlo, and we can and look at the answers. And there you have it. So based on the answers we have from the poll, I'm going to take this opportunity to introduce you to Ms. Anika Henry, Manager, Digital Banking for ACB Caribbean. Anika, all yours. All right, good evening, everyone. I am just looking at the polls and um, the results of the polls, and it's, it's, it's pretty encouraging to see many persons do use online banking and our digital means of banking. So we are off to a good start this evening. Um, but let me just give you an overview of my, my task this evening. We, sorry about that. So here at ACB, we recognize that change is the only constant. And for us as a bank to remain relevant, we have to adopt to the technologies that are before us. But we don't want to just adopt just for adopting sake. We want to ensure that it is safe for our customers, um, all classes of customers to conduct their business effect effectively, efficiently, and also being the most cost effective means for everyone involved. Now, we know that traditionally many persons like to visit the branch in Barbuda. And one of the things that we often say is that Barbuda, Barbuda is special to ACB and Barbudans call ACB special. They, we have a special place in the heart of Barbudans and we wanna take them with us wherever we're going. So our main, one of the things that we really want to push this evening is for us to start to use our digital banking means, um, 
of doing banking because it 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 saves you time. It 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 is just one of the things that we know that will help to push us forward as a society overall. Now, so I'm gonna just share my presentation this evening. And so allow me one second, let me just start my sharing my screen. All right, so let's go. So everyone is seeing my screen. You can just let me know that you're seeing clearly. You can indicate this in the chat yes, for me. Yes, we are. We're seeing yes, clearly. Yes, you are. All right, great. All right, so when we think of digital banking, one of the things we're thinking, these are some of the things that come to mind for us. Banking done through digital platforms without paperwork. We're talking about enabling customers to bank at their convenience, banking from the comfort of your home, banking in the palm of your hands. So we, it goes in touch with, it goes hand in hand with our tagline, simply smarter banking. All right, so this evening, we're gonna feature four major banking, digital banking products here at ACB. We're on our screen, you're seeing that we feature the mobile or online banking. Many times we often refer to it as simply mobile banking, but um, this is something that is also, you can use, you can log in from your laptops, your Android, any Android device, your tablets, anything you wanna do once you get your credentials to log in, you can actually have access to our service. Secondly, we'll be touching on our merchant banking service. Now this, co this covers our point of sales terminals or what we call the credit card machines and also e-commerce. Now e-commerce is what you would do payments online what we, we normally refer to as card not present. So you can actually, just like you go onto Amazon or any of these websites, we have merchants locally who actually have e-commerce and they, they, you can pay for their goods and services online on their website. And this is something that we know will go very well for what is happening with all the development that is taking place in Barbuda at this time. Third, we can talk about also the automated teller machines. That's our ATM. We know that there is one ATM on Barbuda. And fourthly, the cards. So we do offer ACB credit cards and ACB debit cards. So let's touch a bit more on mobile banking and what you can have as it relates to mobile banking. So mobile banking in itself, we recently rolled out what we use, what we call the EFT, the Electronic Funds Transfer. Now, this is a very simple, but very, very effective means of transferring monies between yourselves at a different institution, other suppliers, different places. So one of the things that I just highlighted, a few things I'm highlighting here on this screen, we're talking about, you can make up a, uh, payments to suppliers both locally and anywhere else in the ECCU. Once they trade in EC dollars, we can, you can stay from the palm of your hand where you take your phone and you simply fill in the details required and you can send this payment off to anywhere. Now, I know even in Barbuda, some persons take the boats and come over to shop in Antigua or bring the cash over. You no longer have to do this. These are just some of the means that you can use to pay the merchants. We also offer, a lot of persons, we offer use the platform for payroll. So, on a weekly basis, a monthly basis, bi-weekly, however they choose to pay employees. They, this is just one very good way that a lot of persons use. You can just send your payroll in and the transaction is processed. All right, the same, as I said previously, you can send monies from other to other financial institution once you have 
access to the EFT platform. Another feature on the mobile banking app speaks to the wire transfer. So previously when we were not you know, as advanced, persons used to have to walk into the branch, you fill a form, you sign a form. That is a thing of the past. You can, again, once you have our mobile banking feature, our online feature, you can log into the site and you can simply fill your wire detail. Now, you would see on my screen that I have two FA is offered as well. We have two-factor authentication. That is what the two FA stands for. Now, there are some businesses who they have, they have multiple persons, you know, they, they, they have one signatory cannot sign off on a transaction. They, need, they may need a second person to sign off on it. And this is where this comes in. So no one person can do it if you don't want that to happen. And this is something, again, you would find a lot of larger businesses who would use this, persons who are making payments to suppliers overseas um, where they just generally have to send these funds. It's, 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 it seems like a big thing, but it is a big thing. But what I'm, what I'm saying is that it caters not only for the businesses, it also caters for the household persons. There are times that persons need to send a wire to their, to their son, to their, their, their daughter, whomever, to pay a tuition or you know things like that. And you can simply use this feature. You don't even need to leave your home. Once you get those wire details from the, rec the recipient of these funds, you can simply log this in, put this into your system, and you're good to go. All right. The second thing on the mobile banking that, that we want to bring attention to is the P2P transfer. Now, the P2P, this allows, as it says, is a person-to-person -person transfer. Once, the, once an individual banks at ACB, you can get their mobile ID from them and you, you are allowed to transfer funds between each other. Now, the good thing about this service is free. So we, we, we ask everybody to take, take it up. Um, you know, one of the things we notice in Barbie is that sometimes persons come into the branch just to withdraw some money and you know they're going to pay somebody who has an ACB account right there. So it is a good thing for them to utilize. Um, it takes away from you having to stand up in line, it takes away from you having to go to the ATM. So you, you, you can use this feature quite a bit. Um, one of the other things that we saw as well that there are persons who actually use this feature to pay their staff because of the small payroll that they have. So, there, there are different uses for this P2P transfer, and we are encouraging persons to sign up so they can use this mobile banking service. Now, the next one that you're seeing is payments to merchants. On the mobile banking app, we have several merchants that are listed. Some of them include, as you can see, your courts, APUA, CTV, state insurance. We also have medical benefits, social security. You can also pay your school fees. Let's just say we know that there are many persons in Barbuda right now that are working on the PLH project. And you know some, some fees might be due for your son, your daughter that is, that is over here in Antigua. So you are, you, you, it's, it, it's okay, you don't need to draw. You don't need to withdraw the cash and send it over to Antigua. You can simply log into your mobile banking and pay those fees. So we also we also know that Digicel, we also have Flow. Um, and these are things that you normally do a top up, you normally can pay your bills. These are these are everyday transactions that happen. So it's 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 quite it's quite something else that you, you you just don't necessarily need to go. You can just stay at home once you got your account details. You can pay these merchants. Now you may ask me how do that's for the cons consumer side of it, but if we have business persons who are logged in here, 
you may want to register as a merchant here with ECB as well. So let's just say we have the Barbuda TV channel and they, they provide some sort of business where persons have to pay them um, for advertisements, things like that. They can register as a merchant. You just contact us, uh, as you know, and you register as a merchant and persons will be able to log into the mobile banking app and simply select the Barbuda TV channel, the Barbuda channel, and they can pay their bills there. All right. So we have we have it on both sides where the consumers, the, the smaller the customers, they are able to pay without coming in. And we also allow for the merchants to allow payments to come into them. Now, it again, a lot of these features, it adds security, it adds, it, it, it just adds time to your life, so to speak. All right. So these are some of the things that we really want to share with our customers in Barbuda. Not only in Barbuda, it's something that we continue to push in Antigua as well. The world is becoming less and less cash intensive. So everywhere you go now, you got to use a card. We're talking about a card machine. You got to use your phone. You got to use everything simply to pay some everyday bills. So we want to encourage persons to capitalize on things like this. Just a few more features I wanted to highlight as it relates to our mobile banking app. We have persons who may write a check. Uh, the check may be lost, may be stolen. No longer do you need to call the bank and, and have a stop payment placed on the check. You can simply log on and place a stop payment on the check itself. It's automated, so we don't even have to intervene as a bank. It, 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 it's, it's there on your account and we honor that, all right? You, the, another advantage is that you can view your account at any time. You also have the advantage of sending secure messages to us via the app. A lot of persons use this. What we see there, there are many persons who would use this secure messaging system to effect transfers. All right, so there are different means for you to get to the same end. Again, it's all digital banking. And whatever you feel comfortable with in terms of this platform, you have options. You also, we also have the, the, the app that you, you set up alerts. So recently somebody deposited some money into my account and suddenly I saw it pop up. You've received $1,500. This for me is, is king. So I don't necessarily need to know every time that, okay, I sent somebody to do a deposit for me. I sent somebody to withdraw for me or I mean, you don't necessarily do work withdrawals in terms of third party anymore, but it's it's just an alert that we can see what is happening in your account so that you, you don't necessarily have to wait until, okay, three months down the line, you're seeing, oh, this person did not pay me. It's right there. So you can set all of these things up on the mobile banking app itself. Another feature that we want to speak about is the ordering of checkbooks. So very straightforward. Once you go into the order section, you can simply stay at home and order your checkbooks of persons who still use checks, all right? So that's just a bit on the mobile banking or online banking feature. You will hear me speak about mobile banking quite a bit, but we generally interchange it here, mobile banking, online banking, because the features are pretty much the same, all right? Now, our next item that we're gonna speak about is our merchant banking services offered here at ECB. The credit card machines. So there are several, we, we, we offer two different types of credit card machines. Some are connected by internet, some are connected by GPRS. Now, they, we understand that connectivity is an issue in Barbuda as it relates to um, the service providers for whatever reason. Um, we are actually having conversations with them trying to improve on this service so that everyone can get a bit more comfortable with all the other services that, that require um, better internet service, so to speak. 
So on our card machines, our point of sales terminals, what we have been doing is we've been trying to outfit our Barbudan customers, our customers over in Barbuda, and of course the prospective customers who are coming on board as well with these credit card machines. So there are a few of them that we see here. You see me make mention of them, the Little Links, the Francis Enterprise, Barbuda Bell, and BK Fuel, SBG Air. Recently, State Insurance opened an operation, I think it was just a couple of weeks ago. Um, and they too have our credit card machine there, Caribbean Fish, Barbuda Express. So you can shop at any of these places and you don't necessarily need to go and take cash because once you have your debit card, and of course we would love for you to push our and have our ACB debit card, which is free of charge, you can, you don't need cash to go to these places and shop. All right. So just in case persons on this, you, this, this uh, forum, you're not familiar with how it looks. This is one of our terminals. Uh, this picture was taken by a customer who wanted a terminal like this. So she, she actually took the picture and, and, and said, um, how is it that I, I, I can get one of these terminals? So we would encourage persons, business persons, once you, are, once you have your business set up, everything to that effect, we, it's a service that we offer, very small, very small monthly fee, um, the lowest on the island. So as it relates to the rental, um, we have different rates that we offer businesses. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Another type of terminal that we have is what we call a mobile point of sales. Now this device is one that connects directly to your Android device. Now, one of the first persons that we issued with this device was BK Fuel. So many persons go down to Mr. Walker's, the service station, BK Fuel, and they would have experienced having seen him you utilize this small machine. It's a very small machine. I will show you a demo in a couple of seconds as I go to the next slide. But we, it's something that we are willing and we are ready to roll out to our Barbuda customers. We have fishermen who probably, you know, you, you go out to sea, you want to come in, you want to sell, you want to do some business with one of the small hoteliers. Um, sometimes, you know, it might take a while for you to get your check. But the truth is, if you have this device, your money is there right away for you. All right. So it's something that we want to do. Um, so again, we'll be pushing more of this. So persons who are interested, they can simply contact us and let us know. All right. Now, just a few seconds. I'm just gonna share with you how this MPOS device works so that everyone can just get a picture of it. All right, so you can see he's connected to the phone. All right, so there you have it. Now, you would have seen that he there was a printed receipt. The beauty about this device is that you don't necessarily need to print this receipt. It's something that we can, that this device will send an email to you if you provide your email address. So we can send a receipt by email. The merchant can either send a receipt by a text as well. So we don't necessarily have to print off and sign the paper or anything to that effect. So. This, I think this device is quite useful for small businesses, any type of business. As a matter of fact, um, I dare say, even if you just wanna, you don't want to use a telephone, you can use a tablet, um, any any Android, Android device that can speak to this device. 
uh, you're good to go with this. All right, and it's something that we are, we will be pushing a bit more for, especially for our small business. All right, this screen, I, I just took a few seconds to highlight some of the benefits as it relates to the use of the merchant banking platforms that we offer here at ECB. Once a person has a Visa, MasterCard, or even Amex card, the payments can go through on these devices. You access your funds right away within 24 hours of settling your machine. So you no longer do you have to wait for a few days or anything to that effect. Within 24 hours, you close your machine off today. Within the same 24 hours, your account is credited. And again, if you have your mobile banking app, if you you can log in and you can actually see your credit come, which, which will be on your account within a reasonable time. It's, it's secure. You have you won't have cash on you. You don't have to run to the bank to try to get it deposited because you're worried about having too much cash on you. All right. So these are just some of the benefits. Again, you can have your statements. You can see your statements where all the transactions for a day, you can go, go back over it and show you charge persons as they should. Um, there are times that we have merchants who would come in and say, look, I charge this person $30 when it should be $300. These are some of the things that you can pick up when you're reviewing your statement and it's all there in real time for you. All right, so I'm encouraging persons who might have a little cook shop down the street, um, any small business in Barbuda, we're ready for you. All right. Now, the next item is our ATM. Now, we know that there is one ATM machine in Barbuda, and um, I'm not sure if it's fortunately or unfortunately, but we this ATM service is not only our ACB customers, but other banks' customers, because it is the only ATM in Barbuda. From my presentation, you see that we know that more than 150 persons per day use this service. What we would like to happen is that um, that we reduce the cash. So if, if we have more merchants utilizing the credit card machines, um, you're much more secure as a merchant, but also customers, they would be comfortable in going to pay and not necessarily have to use too much cash. All right. Now, we, we will be reintroducing the ATM deposit section of it for from what we're seeing, most persons, well, that's the only thing most persons do with the ATM, they go and withdraw cash. But we want to introduce as well the deposit section where you can use the ATM to do a deposit. These deposits, once deposits are done in the ATM, they're cleared twice daily. They're cleared in the morning. They're also cleared after two o'clock so that you still have access to your funds right away if you choose to use the ATM deposit. From, from the ATM deposit feature. What many persons don't know is that you can actually use the ATM to transfer between accounts. You can pay your bills at the ATM. And recently we rolled out a feature where you can change your PIN. So let's just say you think for some reason some other person got a hold of your PIN or guessed your PIN you can actually go to the ATM right away and change that for yourself. So it's it's no longer that you have to wait to come into the bank. You can just do these things on your own. Now, if you notice my note at the bottom, it's not one of our best things because because we know that we have experienced significant connectivity issues as it relates to our ATM service. Um, we want to dispel the notion that our ATM goes out of cash. No, it doesn't. But once there is connectivity issues, sometimes it just doesn't dispense the cash. And we apologize for that. We are again working with other service providers to try to reduce this um, because we know that it's, 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 it's something that inconveniences some persons. All right. And as it relates to the overall fleet of our ATMs, yes, we are having conversations because we want to, we are, we are thinking, of, not we're thinking, we will be replacing our ATMs in, in a short order. Now, 
persons must understand this is not something that happens overnight. So it will take a bit of time, but Barbuda is not out of the loop. Just as what, what will take place in Antigua is the same thing that will happen in Barbuda. So again, as much as we love when we use the ATM, if you don't have to use as much cash, that's fine with us as well, all right? And if you go to any merchant, um, any supermarket, any store that they don't accept a card, tell them to call us. We can make a card machine available for any merchant within seven, five to seven business days. All right, so again, we encourage persons to use less cash. Coming to the end just now. All right, so ACB currently has three, three to four, four different, well, we're gonna call it three types of credit cards. Now we wanna, we wanna tell you that our, our rates are competitive. We have a reward pro, rewards program. Now many persons are familiar with other rewards program that only uses, that's only utilized for airline travel, buying tickets and things like that. Our rewards program have a bit more meat. Um, you can use your points anywhere once you accumulate them. As you can see, we not only offer credit cards for the household, we also offer credit cards for businesses as well. My colleague, Mr. Moise, um, while he in his presentation, I'm not sure how far he would go, but this is something that we are prepared to offer with any sort of loan that we give that you can also have a credit card that you can make use for your business purchases as well. All right, and we also have the insurance. One of the other features that insurance is on the card itself. So um, even, even up to today, I got a call from a customer, a relative of a customer who recently passed. And they were wondering, what is the balance that I need to pay off? And I, I, I would have said to them, just, just hold one second for me because the card has an insurance, a life insurance aspect of it. So should anything happen to you, this balance can be covered. It doesn't need, need the weight on your family to cover this balance. All right. We offer cards in US and EC. Another feature is that I know at this time, as it stands now, many persons would come in branch to pin our debit cards on our credit card side of things. You don't have to do that. You can pin your credit cards online. All right, and my final piece that I just wanted to touch on is our debit cards. Now, we recently rolled out our new EMV debit cards. They're international, as it says. We have two types, the classic, uh, many of you would probably have, would have seen the white one. That's a white one in the background. And we also have the gold. Um, they're both all have the same features. They all can use for, they all can be used for online payments. Um, as I would have said before, anywhere that accepts a credit card, have a credit card machine, you can use those cards for settling your bills wherever you go. They're pretty secure. In the demonstration that I would have showed previously as it relates to the mobile point of sale, you would have noticed that the we did not even insert the card. That is because it has a contactless feature. So it speaks to the chip in the card itself. All right. So with COVID-19 times, during these COVID-19 times, you don't necessarily want everybody to be handling, handling your card. Persons no longer have to take your card from you. You can simply tap and you go. All right. And just in case, just in case you're traveling somewhere that you're not within an ACB network group, the card again is international. So you can use that card in another, another bank's ATM. You can just do anything with your card. It has the same functionality like a credit card. And as the word says, it's an international card. All right. So just for persons who are interested in any of the services that we would have featured today, you can contact us at any of these numbers. 
and the email via email numbers. And we'll be free, we'll be too happy to offer you, share information with you that you may need. Let's just say you wanna sign up for mobile banking, um, any of these services, it's all handled here on the digital banking. All right, so that in itself brings us to the end of my presentation as it relates to our digital banking platforms that we, digital banking means that we offer at here at ACB Caribbean. Maybe um, if there are no questions at this time, or we're taking the questions later on. Yes. Thank you so much, Aniko, for that uh, presentation. Uh, just remember, you can post any questions that you have in our Q&A section, and we will sure to answer them at the end of the session. Now, I'd like to introduce you to uh, Mrs. Andrea Dickinson. She is Supervisor of Retail Banking. Over to you, Andrea. Good evening, everyone. It is my pleasure to be here this evening just to share with you um, some of the stuff products that we currently offer in person banking, which is being offered in Barbuda. Currently, we offer cash management, wire transfers, new accounts, credit cards, and course lending which include both personal and business banking. We also provide customer service to our clients who walk into the branch on a daily basis and some of these services include deposit and cash flows, wire transfers, for exchange transactions and list of drafts. I will move along to my area of expertise, which is the retail lending, which I am going to expound on. Um, picture a mother whose son was successful in his exams, and she wants to reward him by taking the entire family on a vacation. Picture also a young lady who just completed her first year of working, and she wants to increase her financial independence. Picture a man who met the love of his life and, con and contemplating his next step. I am going to leave these individuals with you. Please keep them in the back of your mind. So as it relates to personal lending, we are a small team and is typically responsible for providing financing to individuals. We handle the real side of things to include giving financial advice. When we say financial advice, we endeavor to create a path to assist clients in achieving their goals. At the first interview, when we engage a client, we try to get into a period of discovery with the client. We try to learn their specific needs. We work through the different life events, various events, and basically help them to plan their financial goals. For example, a parent who wants to send a child to university, someone who wants to consolidate their debts, or even purchase a vehicle. We actually tailor the conversation and delve to find out what's happening in the client's life to meet their needs. I move on to retail consumer loans, which is the largest product that we offer. And these are offered for, these loans actually are offered for any worthwhile purpose to anyone 18 years and older, either on a secure or unsecured basis. Again, during the interview, we have the thorough rapport with client to ensure that the facility they are seeking basically match their needs. We move on to the card, which is another product, 
which offers clients a line of credit that can be used to make purchases, transfers, cash advances, and it also requires that they pay the amount in the future. When in the credit card level, you will need to make at least the minimum payment every month by the date on the balance. We currently offer Visa Classic, Visa Gold, Visa Platinum, as well as business cards. Yes, business cards, sorry. The types of loans that we offer, we provide loans for various purposes to assist with vehicle purchase, vacation, travel, property repairs, consolidation of debt, student loans, as well as property purchase in legal. And all of the loans are offered at competitive interest rates. Just to highlight the process for Barbuda, applications can be done by a lender in Antigua or taken in Barbuda by our colleagues. Clients can visit the branch and request an appointment and one of our lenders here in Antigua will reach out and set an appointment as well as to indicate the relevant documents required. That is to basically start the process. You also have the option of applying online and again, someone will reach out to you. The appointment will be done via telephone. We will take the official loan application. Thereafter, the application will be assessed, reviewed, and with seven days, we will inform of the status. It is important, however, to note that we must have all the documentation to allow for a proper assessment. So, there is no need to take a vote to come over. Once the facility is approved, the closing documents will be sent to our Barbu branch, and one of our colleagues would assist with signing. Okay, as it relates to the requirements that are necessary. Oftentimes, person think that persons think that you need an account to okay, you need an account to, to have a loan. That is quite the contrary. You do need to have an account prior to applying for a loan. However, once a loan is approved, the account course will be necessary. The loan documentation includes two pieces of government issued picture identification, for example, passport, and any one of the following, driver license, voter's ID, social security, etc. In the absence of the passport, you will need to provide your birth certificate and two government issued IDs. You also require to bring a job letter, say your job tenure, job title, income, and status, accompanied by two last pay slips. You're being paid monthly, it's two pay slips, and four pay slips if you're weekly or fortnight pay. We also require pro or residence exam, utility cable, or Bill showing the address, and that should not be more than three months old. Or if you're renting, rental um, contract with the government. Also, we require a statement if you have any compliance outstanding. We also require you to bring a statement for us. Very important is the verification of loan purpose. For example, it's a vehicle, we would need to get um, an invoice. If it's repairs to your property, you will ask for an estimate. So, remember the first three persons I mentioned earlier. Do you know what these three persons have in common? Their goals, desires, their needs, can all be satisfied by having a discussion with our lending personnel. 
the mother, an unsecured loan, the young lady, a credit card, and the gentleman, a wedding loan. We are experienced lenders, and we want to have to go hand in hand with our clients on their life's financial journey. I am happy today that we're moving forward to helping Barbudo more, extending our services, and I look forward to serving you. We simply start banking. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you very much. Okay, so next, um, I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Nasi Smuis. He is our Chief Credit and Sales Officer, and he is also the head of our small business unit, Simply Smarter Business. Mr. Muis. Hello, good evening. Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Good evening again, and thank you for allowing me into your homes this evening. Um, my task this evening is to basically give you some insights into our <clears throat> as into our SME product. I will try to be as brief as possible. Um, I will basically give you the basics and um, we will open it up at the end for questions. Okay, so our journey to Simply Smarter Business started many moons ago. Um, we are extremely happy to be here today to provide you with the insights into our Simply Smarter Banking offer. Um, in 2019, ACB Caribbean developed its 2020-19-2022 strategic plan and a strategy for the SME sector was identified as being critical to the overall success of the bank. And what we recognize is that for us to be successful, we had to develop an SME strategy, a strategy that is focused on developing world-class customer-centric value propositions and a transformation of the bank's service model with a focus on innovation and digitization. Right? SME basically would be the small, medium-sized enterprise sector. And we have various definitions by, by, by different entities on, on SME, but at ACB, um, we have defined SME as small being any business with turnover of less than 500,000, medium as any business with turnover of between 500, to 1 million. One of the things we recognize is that in Barbuda, um, a lot of Barbudans are not able to actively participate in the, in the, in the financial sector. ACB is the only bank in, in, in Barbuda, and as such, we want to be able to, to, to create greater financial inclusion in Barbuda. That is, we want to be able to bring the, 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 the average Barbudan into the banking sector, and we want to be able to help them develop their businesses. That is, that is, that is our aim, right? One of the th other things that we want to do is to do some training with them, right? We want to do business incubation training. We also want to help them with the marketing of the products. When you look at Barbuda, Barbuda is very rich where, where, where agriculture and, and, and fishing are concerned. You have quite a few small, small hoteliers, small restauranters in Barbuda, but we want to be able to bring them in where we can help them grow their businesses. Okay, so for more than six decades, ACB has been an active, has been active in supporting the growth of the small business sector in Antigua and Barbuda, but we have not been able to do that in a very structured kind of way. Um, we have historically treated our small business customers in the same manner that we, we, we treat our, our, our large corporate customers. And that has been to the detriment, of course. One of the things we want to do differently is that we want to be able to offer a specialized, customized product to our, 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 our small, uh, medium-sized enterprise, enterprise customers. 
right? To 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 help them grow their their their, their businesses. And what 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 better bank to to actually do that than with ACB? I mean, as I said earlier, we have a long history of of banking, and um, we believe that we can tap into that to actually help the 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 the, the average Barbudan. Um, grow and develop their business. Um, one of the first things that we would have done as a bank when we decided to, 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 to focus on the um, SME sector was to you know, develop a policy document. As I said earlier, there was no defined way of um, assisting or, 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 or handling the, the small, um, small business customers. So we would have developed a, a, a new policy document to, to, to guide us to ensure that we can offer you know, service from cradle to life, from, from cradle to, 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 to the end, right? Where the customers can, 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 can see the business group develop or grow from strength to strength. So that policy document is really our blueprint, our guide that you know, directs us as to how to serve that, 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 that SME sector. Right? SME for us is not just about lending, actually. It's more about you know, helping the customer in a holistic, in a holistic way to, to, to develop the business. So we want to focus on, we want to focus on not just credit, but we want to focus on deposit. We want to be able to help customers. I think Anika spoke to, to some of it earlier on the, on the digital side. Um, we want to be able to help the customers um, buy, buy, buy the goods overseas, do their trade products. So these are some of the things that, you know, historically we haven't been able to do in Barbuda that we want to be able to offer um, the, 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 the Barbudans or business customers. Um, we have identified our value proposition in, um, for, the, for the SME sector as small, for the small enterprise, we want to help this small enterprise customer run, run the business. So we want to be able to free you up. Our digital banking platform will, 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 will help um, you achieve that. The medium-sized enterprises, we want to help you grow your business. And again, a lot of the, the digital products and the, the, the solutions that, that, that Anika would have spoken to earlier um, will, help you, will help you achieve that. Um, simply Smarter Banking, which is what we are proposing in Barbuda, would allow you easy access to funding by simplifying the requirements for credit. So one of the things that we would have been asking for, for back, um, back in, the, in, the, in the days when we were um, you know, just serving the market like every, 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 other, every other customer, we were asking for a lot of financial information that we knew that the average small business customer was not able to provide. So we've simplified that process to, to make it easier where we can actually sit with a customer, we can develop a, 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 a cash flow statement with the customer to, to at least be able to, to, to provide some kind of support or assistance to that customer. In addition to that, we have also created a, a dedicated unit, right, where we can provide technical, technical support, technical assistance, technical training, guidance to, 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 to help support SME customers. Prior to, prior to our launch of the SME in February, that was not something that we did actively, but we recognize that it is something that is extremely important. So we have two officers, um, we have Collette and we have Stanfield. These are the two dedicated officers who would be, who are well-trained to provide the, that kind of technical support to SME customers. So what we are trying to do for the SME customers is really to provide relationship banking as opposed to just issuing a credit or a solution and walking away. We want to be there as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a helpful partner, as your friend, as your advisor, to guide you along the way to help your business grow so that you can, you can, you can, you can spend more time doing other things, right? And as I spoke, as I, as I mentioned earlier, we have amended our policy to facilitate a higher risk tolerance for SME customers. So that, that is critical. So the way we adjudicate or assess SME customers today is different. Um, we clearly have more appetite for SME customers. Um, one of the challenges that, 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 that we have experienced over the years helping SME customers is the lack of 
um, um, security or collateral to, to, to support the credit. We have been able to partner with the Eastern Caribbean Partial Credit Guarantee Corporation to, to, to help kind of bridge that gap. So the Eastern Caribbean Partial Credit Guarantee Corporation has developed three, three, um, three schemes, which I will speak to a little later, that are able to, 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 to assist um, at least with the backend security for, for a lot of the SME customers who cannot um, qualify because they are unable to meet the, 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 the security requirement for, 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 for the loan. Um, one of them that I'm particularly excited about is the, 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 the guarantee scheme for customers who have been in business for three months. Um, that I think is, is extremely important. Startup businesses, they can actually benefit by way of a guarantee and that can actually help them qualify once the proposal is a sound put proposal and the cash flow supports the, 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 the lending. Okay? We have also been receiving a lot of support from our international donor. So we have developed a specialized software to adjudicate SME customers to, to make the process a lot more seamless. So when we review a loan application for SME customer, we can make a more informed decision and we can make it a lot quicker because of that. Okay, I spoke to the whole idea of relationship banking a while ago. Um, we do not want to just extend credit to SME customers, but we want to be able to, to provide you with a lot of support, a lot of, ex a lot of assistance, a lot of hand-holding, just to ensure that your business is a success or successful, right? Um, in Barbuda, we recognize, as I spoke, as I mentioned earlier, that there is, there is some concentration on, on, on farming and, 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 and fishing. We want to be able to, 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 to at least work with the, 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 the um, small business customer in Barbuda who are involved in that sector to help them you know, develop their, 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 their business and to take it to the next level. That is really our aim. As I said, we, the, the way we did it before did not allow us to, to, to really effectively assist the, the average small customer. And we want to be able to, 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 to do it differently now that we are launching this, 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 um, this program in Barbuda. Now you may ask about whether, why not have dedicated officers in Barbuda? While we do not have the two officers that I mentioned earlier um, located in Barbuda, but the intention is to have them on the ground in Barbuda periodically where they can meet with you and they can, they can discuss your, 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 your proposal with you. Alternatively, you can reach them by a telephone, which I can share, and we can get your, 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 your business proposal going. One of the things that is extremely critical for us as SME is that we need to encourage you to register your small business. Um, for us to be able to, to, for us to, to assist you, you need to be able to, you need to have your, you need to have your, your business registered. And that, 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 that would be the, 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 the criteria to, to qualify for an SME loan. Your business has to be registered. Um, I want to basically just give you some insights into the, the, the um, credit guarantee program that I spoke to earlier. Um, that is extremely important because we recognize, as I said, we recognize that a lot of a lot of customers in Barbuda, given the land ownership issues we have in Barbuda, may not be able to provide any kind of tangible security for loans. So with the credit guarantee, what that is going to do is to kind of give you some back-end support. So whereas you do not necessarily have to come up with the the, 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 guarantee, the, the, the security package yourself, but you have to provide a, a proposal that is sound, where the bank is comfortable that the business is sustainable. So that would be the key to qualify for the, for the, for the guarantee. So we have three um, guarantee schemes. Um, so the maximum loan value, you have the, the maximum loan value of 750,000. You can get a guarantee up to about 75% of that. So that is $562,500. And your, your contribution basically would be a 25% equity. And 
they, 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 they guarantee that the Eastern Caribbean Partial Credit Guarantee Scheme is providing would provide the back end support to qualify the loan once your once your proposal is a sound proposal. And we are as a bank, we are comfortable that the cash flow is sustainable and will be able to repay the debt. Um, to, to qualify for that, for that, for that, for that scheme, the business has, has to be in operation for at least two years. Right. So that, that would be the key requirement. And you can get that guarantee for a loan of up to 750000 but we would guarantee up to 75% of it. The second guarantee program is for working capital needs. And to, to, um, the, the guarantee is up to 200000 And you can get the guarantee of 80%, which is 160000 And the requirement, the equity requirement is 10%. The collateral requirement is 20%. Um, the third one, which is the one that I, I am very happy about because I believe that there are a lot of customers that would that would fit that 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 that, that category would be the um, the one for for hundred thousand, and these are for for startup businesses, businesses that have been in operation for 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 three months to two years. So any business that has been in operation for three to three three months to two years can actually qualify. For, 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 for that guarantee. The guarantee would be up to 80% of the 100,000. And you are expected, the expectation would be that the small business customer would make an equity contribution of about 10%. Okay, so the, 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 the small business customer would be making an equity contribution of 10% and a collateral requirement of about 20%. So, and the rest would be supported by the, by the, by the, by the guarantee. Right? So in a nutshell, this is what we have available for Barbuda. We are extremely excited about this. We believe that we, want, we, want, we, we have an opportunity to, 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 to help Barbudans to, 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 to grow their business, develop the business, take the business to the next level. And the guarantee that that, 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 that is in place will help you provide the, the backend support that historically you have not been able to, to provide given the, the, the issues with land ownership in Barbuda. So the guarantee is going to bridge that gap and to, it, will, it will actually help you, you qualify. And as I said earlier, we have simplified the process. So we have a new policy in place that you know, makes it a lot easier for, for the average um, small business customer to qualify. We've, um, we've, we've, we've lowered the requirement but of course, we've brought in a lot more technology to 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 to, to in, in the ass in assessing the the proposals to ensure that we we onboard quality quality application. So we're not um, you know lowering the standards, but what we're trying to do is to make it easier for for customers to actually qualify for for the, for the application. So in a nutshell, that is my presentation. Um, open to questions. Thank you very much, Mr. Luis. So we have a couple of questions. Um, the first one, what is the credit guarantee scheme and how do I qualify and get access to it? And that question co comes from an anonymous attendee. Okay, so the, 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 guarantee, the guarantee scheme basically is a program that is in place to provide backend security for the loan. So you've approached the bank for a loan. We would typically ask you to provide financial information. So your historical financial information, cash flows, projections. These would be the key things that, that we would ask initially. But at the back end, you would also want to know that there is some kind of collateral, some kind of security to support the loan. We recognize that in Barbuda, we may not, in a lot of instances, be able to provide that because most persons would probably pledge land or property as security. So once you have a proposal that, that is considered sound, where the cash flows are, we are comfortable with the cash flow, the Eastern Caribbean Partial Credit Guarantee Corporation would come in and they would pledge cash. It's not free money. The expectation is that you will pay your loan and you will pay your loan well and on time. But the Eastern Caribbean Partial Guarantee Corporation is going to step in once they are comfortable that the business is, is a profitable business and the cash flows are sustainable, they will provide the backend security to help you qualify for that loan. 
whereas you may not be able to, to qualify based on your lack of security. The, 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 the guarantee scheme will facilitate your qualification because it's going to provide you with the backend security for the loan. Thank you, Ms. Moise. Uh, so the second question we have here, can you repeat the requirements for opening a new personal bank account? And can it be 100% online? Why don't we let Andrea answer that question? Yes, Andrea, if you can unmute. Sure. To open a personal account required, um, you require a job letter, proof of your address, residency, and the bill must not be older than three months, and two government issued IDs, passport, and any other, whether it be driver's license or voter's ID, social security. In the absence of a passport, if you don't have a passport, you're required to provide your birth certificate. And of course, when you um, supply us with those documents, there's an application form that you will complete. Okay, and those documents can be taken to the branch in Barbuda. So the next question that we have, um, Ms. Muis, I think this one is for you. What if I have a business and don't want to register it? Can I take a personal loan? Yes, you can take a personal loan. Um, you wouldn't qualify for the for the. SME solution that, that, that is available, you will not be able to access the, the, um, the guarantee, but of course, yes, you can, you can apply for a personal loan. Okay, and the next question we have, uh, what are cash flows? Okay, so cash flow, your, your, your cash flow is basically what, 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 what keeps the business going. So, your, 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 your cash flow is the amount of cash you have in the business to keep the business afloat. So when we assess a, 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 a small business proposal, we look at the cash that you, you generate in the business to assess as to whether or not you will have enough cash to keep the business afloat. So for instance, if you are if you are a small business owner and you extend a lot of business on credit to your customers and you extend, let's say, terms of 30 days or 60 days to them, the, the, the longer the term that you extend to them, the, the more impactful that can, can be on your, on, on, on your business. So cash is really what keeps your business afloat. And if you do not have cash in the business, you wouldn't be able to... to, to, to meet your commitment, pay your suppliers, pay your debts, pay your staff. So when we talk about cash, so that is what we mean. The amount of cash you generate and that cash is utilized to, to meet all the business needs. You have to pay all your utility bills. You have to pay, you have to make your loan payments. You have to pay your suppliers. You have to pay your staff. You have to pay all your taxes. So, so, so that cash flow is what drives that. And if the business is not able to generate sufficient cash flow, to do that, then you may have an issue. Now, you may have a business where you extend credit and you've extended, you extend terms of 30 to 60 days. And that, of course, as I said earlier, can impact your cash flow. But you can reach out to the bank and say, okay, because I extend terms of, let's say, 60 days to my, to my, to my customers, I need an overdraft facility to kind of bridge that gap. So that would serve as a, as a kind of a buffer. To, 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 to in the interim while you while you are with the collection of the of the cash from your from your from your customers you can utilize that overdraft facility to keep your business afloat so in a nutshell that is what we mean by cash flow the cash that you you, you utilize in the business to, to basically keep the business afloat together okay thank you mr Louis. so we have two questions here from uh, Chantal 
e-commerce, what are requirements for opening a business account, and what if you do not have a job letter to open your business account, what is the next step? Okay. Um, one of the one of the one of the key things that I that I spoke to earlier to open a business account is to get the the, the, the registration documents. So once once you have the, the, the business registration documents, you're pretty much on your way. We would ask you for your your, your standard um, information as the as the principal of the business. But the key requirements would be to get the the the, the business documents. Um, to, 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 to get that process going. And a lot of that is done through the intellectual property. So you can actually reach out to the intellectual property for guidance on that as to the documentation that, 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 that is actually required. But once you have that, the, personal, the, the, the other personal documentation would be the standard documentation that Andrea spoke to earlier. Okay. And again, to do with a business account, how do I open a business account for my business? I don't have a business plan that was asked of me. I just can't do one as I don't understand how to. Okay, so earlier I spoke to the business incubator training. Um, the other area that we would have offered, I think last year, but it was, it was not very well attended, how to develop a business plan. We want to do that again this year. So we will be able to provide you some guidance on to, as to how to, you know, to, to prepare a business plan or business proposal. So the incubator training is for you to actually develop your ideas and the, the proposed, the, the, the business um, plan training would actually help you put it into writing. So we have something in the pipe that we want to roll out um, in the coming months to, 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 to guide you or provide you support as to how okay. to do that. Okay. Uh, Clifton Francois, in regards to the stuff at BK Fuel, Monique, I think this one's for you. With the Android, how do I apply for it and the requirements? Anika? Hi. Um, as it relates to the, the MPOS, it's, it's just a regular. Um, we can simply contact you. You can contact us as well at the CCMS at acbonline.com. The what the requirements are once the business is registered, once you have some sort of I'm seeing further down that he's asking about the the um one for the church. Um yes. once these are registered businesses or registered organization, we can proceed um with the same documentation where we will do your IDs and everything to that effect. Um and we will take it from there. Um, there's not too much else that is required after that. Thanks, Anika. Um, if I want to apply for a personal loan to start a business, do I have to travel to the mainland to take out a loan? And once approved, what provision is made to have the document signed off if unable to travel? Okay, Nadine, I will answer. If you um, are applying for a loan, we are going to do a telephone um, interview. And once we would have completed that, of course, you are required to bring in the documents. You take the documents to um, our Barbuda branch, and we do the assessment, and you do get approved. What we will do is we would send the closing documents to our Barbuda branch and they would have you sign off the necessary documents so that the loan can be processed. So there isn't any need to come to Antigua. It can be done um, from in Barbuda. Thanks, Andrea. Okay, uh, another question here. Can I get a credit card machine if my business is not registered? The short answer is no. We would, however, encourage persons. One of the things we don't want to happen is that you, um, it is it is a requirement that you must be registered as a business um, or even having a checking account. Again, we don't want to evade anything as it relates to our requirements by law in terms of businesses, transactions, that, 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 that needs to be um, 
prepared as such. So the short answer is no. Okay, thank you. Can a foreigner open a personal account in Barbuda? For example, I've been offered a job at a hotel, but I don't have the requested items. Okay, I will answer. Uh, Andrea? Yes, Nadine, I will answer. Yes, um, some of those documents as it relates to, I'm not sure what documents you don't have, but um, the documents that I would have um, mentioned earlier as it relates to opening the account is mandatory. So we would need those documents in order for you to open the account. We can have a conversation with you to see exactly what it is you're missing, to see how much we can assist you to get to the next level. But the documents that I mentioned, they are mandatory. Thanks, Andrea. Also, this one um, is for you. Uh, can the personal account be open completely online if you email the required documents? Actually, yes, you can go online and fill out the forms, but of course you would need to have them signed. So even though you would um, complete the application online and you send it to one of us here, you would need to sign those documents. But if you wish, you can go online and complete the documents. Okay. And what are the exact requirements needed to open a business account? I think I spoke to I spoke to that earlier. Um, I said a lot of the the documentation can be can be can be um, you can get from the from the intellectual through the, through the intellectual property. Um, I think I also mentioned that we would we would ask you for some kind of some kind of cash flow projection, which we can actually assist you with. So, for instance, you have a you have a a, a, a fisherman who, who 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 wants to open an account. Um, as we've been saying, the, the the business has to be registered. That is that is that is critical. Um, once you have the registration documents prepared, the registration documents are done through the intellectual properties office. So you can actually reach out to the intellectual property office to, 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 to get those documentation. The rest of the documentation would be personal documentation, which um, Andrea would have spoken to earlier. Um, we would want to be, we would want to have information on the, 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 the principal owners. So you would have to give us your IDs, your proof of address, that kind of information, which we, we, we would have mentioned earlier, um, but 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 the document, the standard documentation, you can you can actually reach out to the, the intellectual property um, for for the for the actual documentation for the for the um, for the um, business account. Um, the the projections or the, the the financial information as a bank, we can we can we can we can have a sit down with you and we can provide guidance as to you know how to prepare that information. Once, once you can give us some, 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 you know, insight into the op your operation, we can we can actually help you with the with the with the with the cash flow projections. That that we can do. Okay, thank you, Ms. Moise. And um, you can also log on to acbonline.com and go to accounts, and you should be able to get all the information there as well as the documents required to open personal and business accounts. And next okay. question here, uh, how does your SME product benefit me? Okay, so, so the, 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 the SME product, what, what is exciting about the SME product today is that um, prior to our launch of SME in Antigua in February, we did not have a, a, a dedicated unit. We didn't have a dedicated way of, 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 of assisting small business customers. So it was extremely difficult for small business customers to actually qualify because the requirements were extremely stringent, right? We have relaxed the, 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 the requirements and we have been able to put something in place to help customers with the, with the, with the, with the backend security. So it makes it easier for, 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 for small business customers to qualify on the front end and on the back end. Now, as a, as a, as a perhaps a, a shopkeeper or a fisherman, um, you want to grow your business, of course, you do not have the, the requisite capital to do so, you can actually reach out to the bank. You know, you can reach out to the bank for some kind of assistance. Um, 
you can qualify for a facility with a bank. Once your business has been in operation for, for over two years, you can qualify for a, a facility with a bank once your business has been in operation for more than three months. So any, any, any enterprise that you are in, you need assistance, you need support, you need some hand-holding, we are in a position to, to, to assist you. Um, we can help you with your, you know, your, 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 your working capital, you having cash flow challenges because you extend credit to your, to your, to your customers and they take 60 days, 70 days, 80 days to, to repay you. Um, that, that, that puts us places a squeeze on the business. You need some support. As a bank, you can reach out to us. We can assist you. You need to buy equipment for your, for your, for your restaurant. Um, you cannot come up with the, the requisite capital to do so. You can reach out to the bank for some assistance. So, I mean, almost anything that, 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 that you want to do, when it, once it is legal, once it is legal, we can actually assist you and we can help your business grow and develop. Um, that is what we do. That is what we want to do. And that is what we want to be known for in Barbuda. Thank you. Right, Thank you, Mr. Moise. Just to piece back as to just mm -hmm. a cap of what Mr. Moise said as it relates to helping the community of Barbuda, the bank will be partnering with the intellectual property to host. Um, we'll be having um, to assist businesses with the registration in Barbuda. So, um, Again, we're as a bank, we're facilitating this so that you know we can help it make it easier for you. You don't necessarily have to journey over here to get it done. All right, so you can save it, you can look out for this. We will let you know the date ahead of time that you can we will be hosting this event. Thank you. Thank you, Aniko. We don't have any more um, questions in the QA. Um, if any member of the panel would like to have any closing remarks. Please go ahead. Thanks. Okay, nobody has any closing remarks and we have, or we don't have any further questions. On behalf of ACB Caribbean, we would like to thank everyone who attended tonight's webinar. We'll be posting this webinar on our social media sites. You can, you'll be able to find it on YouTube and LinkedIn. So you can share it with anyone who might have missed tonight's presentation. Thank you again so much for attending. And we hope you found this information informative and helpful. Have a pleasant evening, everybody.